Hello everyone and welcome to my back porch. In today's video I'm going to give you two must-dos uh, that I want you to, to, to do between now and finals week. We are four weeks, maybe five weeks out from finals, so this is the pre final season and uh, so there's two things I want you to get done before we get started let me introduce myself to you I'm Ruth Bomar I'm an academic coach I work with college students one-on-one -on -one. some of my students are on academic uh, probation some of them are actually on academic suspension so they're not actually in school some of my students are uh, uh, having they have a 3.1 3.2 and they're trying to nudge their GPA closer and closer to that 4.0 because maybe they have some graduate school at, um, plans like maybe med school or other grad graduate school plans so I work with students anywhere along their academic journey and anywhere in their academic performance so let's get started number one I want to invite you to treat your class meetings like a workout. So what's a workout? At the beginning of the workout you have a warm-up and then you have the workout and then you have the cool down. Now in the warm-up you do a, a jog, try to get get all limber, you, you do some preliminary exercises, you do some stretches, you're getting your body ready for the workout. During the workout you're actually making changes in your body, changes in your muscle, you're addressing stamina, agility, strength, endurance, maybe even speed. And then your uh, post-workout, your cool down, you have stretches again and then you're bringing everything down, all, all of your uh, cardiovascular things down. Uh, if you neglect the, the warm-up, if you neglect the cool down, then you run the risk of injury during the workout and the purpose of the workout then is defeated. So if we use that analogy for your class meetings and take your cla the actual class hour where you're sitting and listening to lecture, that's the equivalent of a workout. So what do you do before you walk into class? You want to warm up. You want to warm up your uh, uh, your brain, your thoughts, the ideas. So how do you do a warm up? Well, one, you can look at last lecture's notes. Two, you can look at your syllabus and find uh, the course objectives, learning objectives, learning outcomes. Those will tell you what your professor wants you to know by the end of the semester. So if you do a quick uh, review of the course objectives regularly throughout the semester, then you'll know, you'll recognize, oh, this is really important. This information that I'm hearing in today's lecture is what my professor wants me to know. That's, that's one of the objectives of this course. So that's another place you can visit in order to do a warm-up before your class. Another place you can visit is the course, the assigned readings for that, for that meeting, for that class meeting. Your assigned readings can come in multiple forms and, and formats, so that's for another um, video but you want to do a quick overview a uh, quick skim or s skim over the readings before you walk into class this is, this is warming your brain up warming your thoughts up before you listen to the lecture another thing to do for a warm-up is vocabulary review vocabulary re review terms remember your professor has been studying this topic for years so your professor has a lot of vocabulary and will use a lot of vocabulary in his or her lecture so you and me we're, we just started in this in this uh, semester we've only been listening to this topic for maybe 10 weeks so our our vocabulary level needs to increase if we're going to be able to sit and listen to this professor and grasp ideas so one thing you can do in your warm-up is review vocabulary terms terms that are unique to your field because that every field tweaks the definition of a, of a term so uh, the way a, a sociology professor will view a, a word a term will be different than the way a, an economics professor will view the very same word so you need to as a student of if your class is sociology as a student of sociology you need to review the terms through the lens of sociology. So another thing you can do to warm up before you go is uh, go over PowerPoints, if your professor has PowerPoints, and go over, uh, I think I already said, the last lecture. 
because any new information is going to hang on previous information. If you don't, if you don't do a warm up before you walk into the lecture, then you're going to be sitting there listening to the professor and trying to remember what happened the last time you met, and it might be a few minutes before you get up to speed and by that time your professor has gone on maybe 10, 10 minutes, I don't know how long, and you've basically missed the gist of what he's been saying. So now you're playing catch up. So during the lecture, uh, you're actually grasping concepts because you've done the warm up. And then the cool down, here's the analogy, the cool down would be before you leave the, the lecture hall, before you leave the classroom, go ahead and finish up the notes that you took fill in any gaps, any holes. Maybe you wrote just half a word because you had to hurry and write the next idea. Maybe you just wrote half an idea, just a few phrases. Go ahead and finish the words, finish your notes because it's still fresh in your mind. Um, might write notes to yourself, like you know, remind yourself, oh, look this up in the PowerPoint, look this up in the, in the book, look this up, talk to the professor about this idea. So finish up your notes, number one. Number two, write a short summary of that day's lecture. Now a summary could be like a tweet or just some bullet points. Uh, it could, it's just the big idea of that lecture. Now if you don't, if, if you don't finish up your notes, if you don't write that summary, when you walk out the door, it's gonna be, it's gonna be gone. You're gonna forget it. And it's not because you didn't pay attention, it's because that's the nature of our brain. As soon as you walk out the door, um, your brain will not retain what happened in the previous hour. Hence the need for notes and finishing up your notes before you leave. If you don't, then that evening or uh, maybe two or three days later, when you go back to your notes, they won't make sense to you. They make sense right then and there. So that's the one thing I want you to do right now in the next four weeks I want you to treat every class as a workout. The second thing I want you to do in these next four weeks leading up to finals is treat every Friday like a highlights reel. So treat your Friday as a and write sit down 15 minutes 30 minutes it depends on the class how complex the information is how much information how complex it is sit down and write what this what went on in this in this uh, week review the week review the big ideas review the supporting arguments the examples the proof for the big ideas so review the week's notes every Friday so if we start now then you will be reviewing for four Fridays leading up to finals if you're having a comprehensive exam then at the end of at, on Friday, your your highlights reel on Friday should include this week's notes as well as now this is for comprehensive exams, as well as the notes from weeks one, two, and three of the semester. And the next Friday, you review the notes for the from that week and the notes from weeks four, five, and six. And and you get the idea. You keep going. Every, so you have we have about four Fridays. If you do that, then you will have reviewed the bulk of your semester in four weeks. And when you get, walk into finals, you'll be more confident because the information will be fresh. So those are in, in recap. Let me step back and give you a, a recap. There are two things I want you to do in this pre-final season. One, treat each class meeting as a workout where you preview your information then you pay attention during uh, class and take notes and then you review your information and close up all your notes. Finish up your notes before you leave the classroom. And two, treat every Friday like a highlights reel where you recap what happened that week and then if you're having a comprehensive exam, go back and review weeks one, two, and three. Now, if you're having comprehensive exams, this is the time to start reviewing the semester. All right, this is Ruth Bomar, and I'm going to leave you with this tidbit. You can get to your goal one step at a time. Talk soon.